today's video i take you through my third day in khajuraho it's early morning and we reached another new location for sketching this compound had just one temple in the center which had similar sculptures to the earlier one in khajuraho's main uh, location hi it's now day 3 and i'm going to do some sketches of um, the figurines The angle of viewing is different here. I have to look up and then see the sculptures and like the earlier temple where there was much more space to walk around and um, I could walk a little back and then look at the sculptures and illustrate them. So today I decided to make some single illustrations and also in much more larger scale. So I've been using A3 size over here. I carried along with me my travel brush pens of Escoda and the Tropicals palette which I also filled inside with a few more colors uh, from Vincent and Newton. It's hard to shoot the video from the left hand while I paint with the right but I wanted to show you guys the process of how I go about my illustration on the scene. My first step is to sketch it out directly in pen. I used my Lamy Safari for this one and then gave a light watercolor wash. I carried my foldable chair with me which was quite a boon over here because I was able to sit and then sketch um, all my illustrations. Sometimes it's easier for me to stand and do all this but when I'm at a location for a longer time and if I'm painting something in a larger size then it's much nicer to have the chair along. One tip for people who are very new to urban sketching or for plain air painting is once you do the initial sketching in colors then you can slowly move on to understanding light and shadow. Notice where the light is coming from and where the shadows are falling and paint those areas accordingly with darker hue for the shadows. You will notice a tremendous change in your illustrations once you follow light and shadow. In this entire art retreat, I have always drawn first with pen and then inked it. Please feel free to draw it with pencil first and then move on to adding the colors that you feel like. I like the spontaneous lines and in general I have very less patience so I end up sketching or painting directly without using a pencil first. drawing for over 20 years right now and initially for figure drawing I used to use the skeleton uh, structure and then I used to draw the figures. So over time with a lot of experience I've been able to now draw directly with the pen. So if you're somebody who's new and uh, you're not able to draw it directly with pen please feel free to use a pencil, add all the details, uh, draw the skeleton structure, divide the different parts as the head, the neck, the torso, the legs and then build on from the skeleton structure. This will also help you in developing your own style. There are some artists who like to make really long legs. There are some who do not like to add any details on the face. So there are different kinds of styles and eventually you will get to find your own. Today's location, the sun was not very strong, which means there was not much of light and shadow to work with. So what I decided was, um, I will assume that the light is coming from the right hand side. So all my darker shadows come on the left, which is why I'm adding these details over here. So I have built up the colors from a very um, light layer to adding more darker layers to it. The sculpture is not purple in color but I decided to give it my own color because I enjoyed this. So just decide what you feel like at the moment. Your illustration could be in green, it could be in blue, it could be in yellow, it could be in any color that you feel at that time. So just go with your instinct and use that instinct in your favor. I really like how these illustrations are coming out and uh, from doing sculptures I decided that I should now move on and illustrate all the people around me. So these are basically artists who had come to the art retreat so I thought why not paint them. I love people sketching and since they move so much it suits my style of doing quick illustrations and I really enjoy it. 
After this, we headed back to our hotel to have our lunch, and then we checked out and moved on to the last destination of this trip, which is Ocha. I'm very excited to see what Ocha has in store for us. Stay tuned for the next video to see the magical land of Ocha and the paintings that I did over there.